Frank, I have seen you do this walk, this run, year after year. Tell us about this brother and how he inspired you to do what you do. Well, 20 years ago, my brother was just on his way home from his uh, night duty at Squad One in Brooklyn, and he heard the towers were hit, so he went back, got his gear, drove to the mouth of the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, was closed for security reasons, so he strapped 60 pounds of gear on his back and ran through the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel, which is almost two miles long, up West Street into what we believe was the South Tower because we never recovered him. But I will say that that's where his other 11 firefighter brothers were from Squad One that were recovered, and they, they all died. And uh, while saving other people's lives, uh, he gave up his own. And we were so uh, inspired uh, uh, by what my brother did. We started the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. And now we do so much for our men and women in uniform, for fallen first responders that died in the line of duty that leave young kids behind. And, and we're proud of the work. Because uh, because of the actions of my brother, we've been helping so many thousands and thousands of families. Frank, you're going a lot farther than the two miles through the tunnel. This Never Forget Walk, it started in D.C. a few weeks ago. It's going to end on Saturday at Ground Zero. During this journey, I know you have met with tons and tons of people. As you talk to them, do you feel like they understand the sacrifices that were made that day? Or are you concerned that memories yes. are fading? Well, the people that had joined me uh, uh, on this walk, and I started the Pentagon on August 1st. I was at Shanksville, Pennsylvania on August 21st, and I'll be retracing my brother's final heroic footsteps on, on the 20th anniversary on this September 11th. Albeit, I'm doing it with sneakers. He did it with his gear. I'm coming out of the tunnel. I'm looking at the Freedom Tower. He saw two towers on, uh, on fire with horrific uh, uh, scenes. But yes, uh, I have two concerns. Uh, one is that it is fading with a lot of Americans, and that's why I'm doing this walk 537 miles so people never forget. And as you said uh, earlier, before the break was, and then we want to honor the sacrifice, and the honor the sacrifice by doing good. So uh, I've met so many Americans that love America. They're waving the flag and say, never forget. Those people I'm not worried about. It, but there's so many young families that have been at different parades that we've had and gatherings. And I, I'm just in awe of these families that are telling their kids about what happened uh, 20 years ago. So the, the walk has done everything that I hoped it to be. And it has been a very spiritual uh, journey for myself. What is your message to people in other parts of the country, other parts in the world? You were in Staten Island that day. You thought you were going to golf with your brother. I was in lower Manhattan. For us, for New Yorkers, it was in our backyard. Uh, this event is permanently imprinted in us. But for people in Nebraska, in Kansas, what do you want them to understand about 9-11? Well, I think a lot of them do understand this, that it could happen again. And that is my biggest uh, fear as a 9-11 family member. I don't want to see other families to go through this. And, you know, we've had 7,000 men and women have given their lives for our country uh, to keep us safe here in America and in Nebraska and everywhere else that you, you can uh, think of. Uh, but New York is always the, uh, the main uh, target for sure. Uh, it represents uh, America and the greatness of America. But we're resilient. We've come back. My family, we made a decision early on. We didn't want to stay in that dark space. Just like my brother came out of the tunnel, came out the other side to help and to, and to save lives, we want to come out the other side as a family to help other families that have experienced the same thing, fallen first responder families or, or Gold Star families. And, and we just lost 13 uh, great Americans recently, uh, the last 13, uh, hopefully, that die in Afghanistan. And uh, we're going to take care of any of those families that have young families. And we know one that will have a young uh, a baby born in the next few days. And rest assured, we'll be helping that family. So uh, our foundation is simple. We, we want to make a promise. This is the promise we made, that when you go to serve your country or your community and you give your kids a kiss goodbye and you don't come home, Tunnel Towers Foundation is going to take care of your family. We're going to gift you, we're going to deliver you a mortgage-free home. And we ask people to join us on our mission and our journey.